Hey, that old girly. Oh, where are you headed? Well, I had this little vision. I put all I love together. And I've been walking, walking. I've been walking in the desert. Well, I've been walking, walking. Till I find that happy weather. Oh, we must, we must, we must Oh, we must, we must, we must I kick the stones as the cars pass by For all live in the present The first thing I'd like to talk to you about is um, yourself. So, um, yeah, you've, I understand that you've, uh, you were actually born in Dubai, is that right? Uh, well, almost, yeah. Two months and I was in Dubai. Okay, where did your family come from originally? We, uh, we're from India. Whereabouts? Um, we're, we've lived in Bombay. Okay. But we come from Gujarat, uh, closer to Gujarat actually, Kutch. So very few people know about that. I'd have to pull up the map to show it. Okay. And then you moved away? You went to the US? Yes, I did uh, I did uh, my undergrad in Dubai at okay. American University. So I was the first batch of graduating students from there. Okay. And um, and then I went to the US. I went to study in Philadelphia for grad school. And what did you study? I did my MBA. Okay, in business uh, administration. Yeah, um, and uh, with a concentration fund in uh, management information systems. Okay. So I've done a little bit of... So from that to, to art, it's, uh, it's a bit of difference. Big job, yeah. Okay. I guess art is where the, where, uh, where the passion lies. Well, more than anything, we're a do-it-yourself painting studio where people come in and paint. So anyone, regardless of their profession and experience, age, uh, can come here and freely express themselves on canvas. That's good. That's great. What made you, I mean, let's talk about the, the whole passion. Dubai Lime is something that's based on, on having passion for music, passion for art, passion for culture. Um, when did you actually decide that you, know, you weren't going to do management information systems and decide that you're going to follow your passion down the, the art route? Well, um, a lot of the influence in art started when I was in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is big on art, ever, and all my roommates were artists. So a lot of the influence comes from them. My introduction to art comes from them. Um, and of course, I've never been to an, uh, a drawing class ever before. The last I did it was in school. But um, that, and there is sort of I had the burning desire that maybe one day I want to have my own gallery, and it would be nice to have a little cafe that goes with it. So it started a couple of years there. It was just a thought and a, and a sort of a loose statement that I made to a friend. For me, I think I've never not been a very technical person as far as technology goes, and I never really picked up and loved it while I was studying. I studied it for six years, and I guess I did well because I was a good student overall. I could study anything. Sure. <laughs> <Don't work>. But. <laughs> Um, but um, so, and that's and then I got you know I was sitting with a couple of friends, um, a crazy idea, I just sort of snowball into let's do it. And I, overnight I quit and I started getting the plastic together, started doing some research, and got the whole thing up and going in eight months, include, including finding the space, the suppliers. And how long have you been going now? More than two years. Two years wow. and. What's more months. important, is it passion or is it hard work or? I think it's com it's a combination. I mean, you can't just, um, well, you know, passion will, will drive you, but it's the hard work and, uh, you know, it's, it's the, the dedication to it that sort of uh, brings it to where you want it to be. Because um, you can't just be very dreamy about things. It's got to go beyond that and you've got to step down, it's got to be practical, um, you've got to strategize. I mean, just like any other business, uh, you've, got to, you've got to sit and plan execute those plans and get your people to believe in you and then train them so and, and that's a, and that's a continuous process and there's always you know your focus has to be improvisation how to make your processes more efficient customer service is so important here because you, you you're dealing with a very delicate lot you're dealing with a person who's sort of afraid to paint you have to give them the courage to do it but they've made the first step they've, they've stepped in and into the job 
Sure. And how to translate that into a wonderful experience and, and have that experience felt over and over and over again. So you, we're here on, on our toes. To me, it's, it's something you do for yourself. Art is something where you're going to look at art, appreciate, learn, or actually practice it. Um, it's, it's, it's a very personal experience according to me. Even when you're going to buy a painting, what you like, I will not. Uh, what you think of your own work, I may not. You know, so it's a very personal experience. And I think just like the way, I think we, generally people should uh, take out time to do things for themselves. So you go to the gym, you decide to do something fun like skydiving, you go boxing, you do all sorts of things. And this is another experience. And it is your choice to, to sort of go, you should have the enthusiasm to just go out and try it. Because you'd be surprised, but people are as scared to paint as they are to jump out of, out of a plane. Have you ever jumped out of a plane? I'm going to. Yeah? Yeah. I bungee jumped, uh, but I haven't yet jumped out of a plane. And I will cut in a couple of years. But, um, and, and that's why I, I, I tell people it's a matter of trying, because I think art brings the much required balance in life. It's exercising a side of your brain, which you don't always use. You're often very stressed. You, your professions are such. So they have to come and try. And then they make a choice as to whether they should be part of their lifestyles. It's something that cannot be forced. And what does it take, do you think, to be a, a great artist? Well, again, you can't, a great artist, again, that's, that's such a relative term. You know, who is a great artist to whom? It's, it's so, in my opinion, completely differs from yours. Some people just cannot understand the whole concept of art. Like, what is this? How, especially contemporary art, when you see it in the comments you hear from people, like, what is this? They never sit back to think about the idea the person has, what they, you know, what they did to implement it, you know, the medium they use. There's so much thought process that goes behind a lot of the work that you see. Some people just cannot understand. So, I wouldn't. Like, of course, you can look at contemporary masters and say, at their time, what they did and the trends they set and the variety of work they have and how much time they dedicated to art and what they, who they taught and then what they learned. You know, they came, they, they were graduates of X Y Z schools. Um, and all these add to their credentials as an artist and hence they get labeled as very good artists. You know? Then how actively they promote themselves, which galleries pick them up. There's so much. It's a whole industry by itself. Do you think um, art's heavily influenced by, by hype and PR? Do you think someone with the right marketing and PR Listen, budget would be, a, would be a great artist? Well, you know, to go, there are, it, yes, it, it has a lot to do with how much you can market yourself. How much you improve? How what kind of critiques do you have on your work? I mean, if you go back to uh, old art fraternities, like in the in the U.S. and in Europe, um, uh, you can you can see that it, it takes a lot. It takes recognition by good galleries, a little bit of a luck factor um, in there. It takes the right buyer, the right place. It's all a matter of timing as well. Uh, even the economic situation will drive prices of paintings and how well an artist does. Um, so you, you, you see the amount of factors, and then there are organizations that just sit and do research on art. Um, and, th and that's why I say it's such a large industry, and there are so many different different variables uh, that, that work towards an artist's success and failure. I personally love music. I, I, you know, I love spontaneity. I love people who, here you know, at the Jam Jar, people, we call it the Jam Jar because here they spontaneously come together and whether they know each other or they're not. And the whole concept of jamming comes from music originally. And so to me, it's something that's already very close to my heart. And, and these are things that I've probably, you know, somewhere in my life I've wanted to learn how to play an instrument. I, want, I love to sing in the bathroom really loud. And, um, <laughs> and uh, you know, I would, uh, so I'm just overall very passionate about it. So to me, it's, it's going and listening to something that I wish I could do. Sure. And it's very encouraging.